Open Blender. Delete the cube. Press numpad 1 to go to front view. Click up here to go to rendered view. Hold shift and then A. In the mesh tab, click on UV sphere. Press tab to go to edit mode. Press 3 to go into face select. Select these faces. Hold control and press numpad 1 to go to the back view. Hold shift and select the faces on the back side. Hold control and press numpad 7 to go to the bottom view. Select any unselected faces on the bottom. Click numpad 1 to go back to front view. Press delete and choose faces. Now select these faces. Here are the side views. Press P and separate by selection. Press tab to go into object mode. Click on the large part. Click on this wrench to add a modifier. Click on add modifier and choose subdivision surface. Put both the levels viewport and the render up to 3. Click on the smaller part. Click on add modifier and choose subdivision surface. Again, increase these values to 3. Click on the large part again and add a solidify modifier. Increase the thickness to 0.08. With the large part selected, hold shift and click on the smaller part so both are selected. Press numpad 3 to go to side view. Press tab to go to edit mode. Select these faces. Hold control and press numpad 3 to go to the opposite side view. Hold shift and select the faces on this side. Press numpad 3 to go back to the first side view. Hold S and Z and drag to scale these faces up on the Z axis. Hold G and Z and drag to move them down. Press R and drag to rotate the faces like this. Hold G and Y and drag to the right a little bit until there is no distortion. Press tab to go into object mode. Click on the large part and click on this beach ball icon which is material properties. Press new and click on base color. Change to whatever color you like. Put the roughness down to 0.1. Now click on the smaller part, press new to add a material, click on surface and choose glass BSDF. Put the roughness down to 0. Put the surface IOR down to 1.050. Click on volume and choose glass BSDF. Check screen space refraction. Click on render properties and check screen space reflections and refraction.